Hey Cupcakes, welcome to Just Cakes. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome and don't leave without subscribing. If you're a returning subscriber, then welcome back. Today is day 9 of Just Isolate and I just thought I would walk you guys through everything I eat in a day. Guys, it's a lot really. So as you can see, the first thing we're doing is breakfast. For breakfast, usually I just have any cereal of my choice if my mom hasn't made a porridge of sorts. So today on the menu is muesli and yogurt so what I basically do with the two yogurts is I put one over the muesli first and then I put the other over the other <laughs> that sounds complicated but basically what I do as you can see I'm putting the plain yogurt first over the muesli and then just a little bit after that I'm going in with the strawberry or any flavored yogurt of your choice over that I obviously don't put as much strawberry yogurt as plain yogurt but it's just to give my plain yogurt a little bit more flavor this strawberry yogurt that I'm going in with is actually a double cream strawberry yogurt guys I don't know about you guys but I hate 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 double cream it's so thick but it's the only choice I had today so I had to just go in with some of that I'm sure you guys are wondering why my banana was already peeled but that's just because I thought of eating it just before I decided to film this but then I was like let me let my cupcakes in on what I eat so I just had to close it up and here we are so next I go in with my banana and I just chop 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 it up into my bowl and obviously once I feel like there's enough in my bowl I just kind of really eat the rest and move on <laughs> The tea that I'm having this morning is peppermint tea. Guys, I love peppermint tea. I learned this at Megan Bean and obviously I brought it home. <laughs> so I love to start my day with anything green in terms of tea, you know, green tea and mint, um, actual peppermint tea. I just feel like it just gives me a fresh start to the day. So I have actually pre-boiled my water, so I'm just gonna add that obviously to make my tea and and completed I do not add milk guys herb teas do not have milk and there you have it guys that's my breakfast a bowl of strawberry yogurt plain yogurt bananas and muesli and a cup of my favorite tea straight after eating I go in with all my medication so I have a glass of water over here and three different medications that I take every morning the first is my aloe which really helps with my allergies and clearing you know any bold up in my throat and um, in my chest I have very intense allergies the next is my probiotic which um, I have to take every single day it's just to help me with my stomach and the next one is Centrum obviously right now we are all keeping healthy and making sure that we have that extra support for our immune systems so I have one pull of these a day Oof, that's just a bit too much Centrum I have one pull a day of all of these and I just take them all at the same time followed with my favorite 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 citrus fruit a nachi it has been an hour and a half or two since breakfast and I am already hungry again so it's snack time guys so for snack time I'm just making some popcorn I love popcorn on the pot um, I just feel like it's so nice and fresh and nothing about microwave popcorn is appealing to me or maybe it's the fact that I always burn it so for this I just add some oil um, I love to use a hot pot for this because I just feel like uh, it comes out perfectly all these other fancy pots don't really work out for me so I just add my popcorn seeds and um, you add as much as you want obviously if you want a big bowl then add more so I go in with my popcorn and I basically make this for the whole family because we love to snack Guys, this is my favorite part when it starts popping out and overflowing and it's spilling all over the place. Ah, my favorite part. As you can see, one pot really does make so much popcorn and that was such a small pot. So now I'm just sharing it amongst myself, my brother and leaving some for the rents, I guess. No one in this house gets as excited for popcorn as Kumo and I do, so I obviously have to give him a large bowl too. <laughs> 
the next thing that I usually pair my popcorn with, especially now for this time now that it's Easter, are Easter eggs. Guys, I'm obsessed with Easter eggs. I eat about 10 a day. <laughs> so I just take my Easter eggs and my water and off I go. So it's only been about an hour, an hour and a half since it's snack time and your girl is already hungry and it's lunch time. So typically lunch time at home is really just anything that's left over, anything that you can put together, you know. I think that's how it is typically in everyone's homes. So today I'm having some pickled fish. Guys, as you can obviously tell, I love Easter treats. Your pickled fish, your Easter eggs. I probably have about 10 Easter eggs a day as I've already mentioned. At this point I'd had about 3 already. <laughs> So I'm just going to have some pickled fish which I've, which I've already pre-warmed um, just for the purposes of the video and with that I'm having some homemade rolls. Um, we bake these on Sunday so I have already pre-warmed them as well just so it's easier and I love how all that butter just melts as you put it on and this is why you have to have them warm guys I'm not huge on butter but <laughs> with the rolls and nothing slaps it's like white bread and butter Oof, nothing slaps like white bread butter and a glass of coke you can tell I grew up in the hood <laughs> so I'm just gonna have these rolls with my pickled fish and a little bit of ginger beer on the side because <laughs> stony girl but my parents apparently believe that this ginger beer is healthier <laughs> and an hour later your girl is hungry again it's tea time <laughs> Guys, lockdown is going to make me so fat, I can't even believe it. Anyway, so over here I just have my rooibos. Um, I do like to add some chai seeds to my rooibos just because, I don't know, apparently they're healthy, guys. <laughs> so it's a habit that I've gotten into and I can't stop doing it. Um, and I also just like how squishy they feel in my mouth. So I add some honey to my rooibos because I try to avoid sugar. And I'm having that with some cute little scones that my mom baked that really make me excited they have like so much cinnamon in them guys i am a sucker for cinnamon cookies so i have obviously already pre-boiled the water as usual um i'm just gonna add that to my tea and you can see the little balls um the little chai seeds inside my tea but yeah that's tea time Last but not least, it's dinner time and I can finally stop eating. Uh, my mom did happen to burn the beef pie, so this is a big problem because I'm the one who has to get all the char off of that. But it was delicious nonetheless and that wraps it up in my day of food. Next up we have verse of the day. So today's verse of the day is Luke 9 verse 61 to 62 and it reads, Still another said, I will follow you, Lord, but first let me go back and say goodbye to my family. Jesus replied, No one who puts a hand to the plow and looks back is fit for service in the kingdom of God. Shoo! That is intense. So I don't know if you guys are hearing this as... <laughs> <laughs> as intensely as I'm hearing it but this basically means that when you choose to follow God you know when you put your hand to the plow you can't look back there's no you know turning around and saying hey um, let me just finish off you know sinning a little bit more then I'll come there's no let me just you know um, make 10,000 you know 10 million rand first and then I'll come no, you literally have to part with the things of the world and go with God. Or else you're not fit for the kingdom of the Lord. I mean, this man was like, um, but first let me go back and say goodbye to my family. And Jesus was like, no. No one who puts a hand to the plow and looks back is fit for service in the kingdom of the Lord. 
I just thought that was like crazy guys how many times have you thought um Jesus I promise you I'll be better after this you know and then you think to yourself ah but let me just you know drink one last time or let me just you know you know do something sinful one last time and it's just like guys you can't be too excited about things you can't have one foot out one foot in or else you just can't be like in the kingdom of the lord that that's just it it's point blank simple and i think this is such a difficult thing to practice guys this is so difficult to practice so difficult to just like really get into to really fix your mind and know that i mean it's not to say that oh my gosh i leave my family etc but it just means you leave all things that are not of god or not to the pleasure of god just not there to please god you know so I challenge you guys you know I challenge myself as well this is a really 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 difficult thing to achieve but I just wanted to share that with you guys and let's just you know put this verse on our hearts and think about it deeply you know let's just think about our lives and think about the things that we do and entertain that please God and those that don't because truly you're not a part of the kingdom of God if you're still looking back so that's it from me guys just cakes that's it for the girl from the girl cakes i hope you guys really enjoyed this video i know it's very different um don't forget to give it a like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share don't forget to show me what you guys are eating i feel like we're gonna come out looking mad fat <laughs> <laughs> but gym will be open again and we shall get in guys don't forget to rest don't forget to enjoy your family and i love you cupcakes i will see you tomorrow for day 10